What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm pretty much carrying on from the removal of the rear axle on the last episode. So I need to strip all the parts of it. That'll be the first job to do. I've got the trailing arm still on there, pan hard rod. Um, got to remove the drums and remove the um, shoes up from them, including the back plates as well. So I've got a lot to remove off the axle. Then I'm gonna be moving on to, well, I've already removed the fuel tank. I'll uh, show you guys how to remove it, but it's not hard at all. It's literally four bolts and twist the sender unit out. So I'll show you how to do that when it gets to that part of the video. And then once I've done all that, it's a really nice day outside. So I'm gonna spray the axle, we're gonna prep it, um, and then I'll spray it matte black. And I'm also gonna spray the tank silver. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and strip the parts off the axle. First job is to take off the drums that I put back on when I was removing it. Now I've got the drums off, there's four 13 mils holding this whole drum assembly on, so I'm going to remove them now. I've just removed the brake setup from the other side, and I'm on this side now, nearly there. It is worth noting that you have to undo that nut, that nut, and then there's two up the top. There's one here, and then one here. Um, this top right one, you need to get a, um, a screwdriver in there and pry it open to get a spanner through the top of it because you can't actually reach it with a socket because if you look, I don't know how well you can see this, but it doesn't go on there at all. You just can't get on there, so. I don't actually have a lot to remove um, from this axle now. All I need to do is this trailing arm, which is held in by a 17 either side. Obviously I've got to do that on both, both sides, this one as well. Um, and I've also got to remove the two, well, this is a 17 as well, that's holding on the pan rod. That's the axle fully stripped now, ready to be prepped and painted. Palm rod off, trailing arms off, rear drums and shoes ready to be refurbished. So here's a fuel tank that I removed from the Mark II last night. I didn't record it because I just wanted to get on and remove it. But it's not that hard at all to remove. So you've got two 13 mils this side. And literally another two 13 mils this side. Uh, you got, this is where the sender unit goes in. That literally just twists out and you pull it out. And this is where obviously you fill it up. Um, and this is where the fuel net goes, but it just slides out. So really easy to remove. I didn't think I'd record it. So all I've done today is just block up these holes, uh, removed all the fuel that was in it. So I now need to prep it, primer it, and then spray it silver. That's the tank all cleaned up now. So this side that was on, well, it was covered by um, the floor of the Mark II was nice and clean anyway. So I just went around that with a bit of brake cleaner. 
but you might have been able to see that this underside was really dirty. So um, I gave up with a brake cleaner and I used a bit of the old petrol and uh, yeah, it's come up really nice. Um, I'm not quite sure if these were sprayed before um, because there seems to be no paint on it. So I'm guessing they must've just had like a layer of wax on them or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna prep this up now and then start to primer it. All systems go here. Uh, the top side of the fuel tank is now sprayed. I think that looks wicked. Really happy with that. It's only had one coat of silver. Just gonna move on to the axle now. I've cleaned this up the other day, but I'm gonna get on it with the drill with a wire wheel attachment and get this all prepped, ready to spray as well. tank is now fully sprayed put two coats of silver on it now looks really really good so happy with how it's come up I've got the axle all prepped up uh, used the drill a couple of wire brushes and some scotch just to clean it up took a while but it's not gonna be perfect but much better than what it is now That pretty much concludes this video. So I've done a lot today, stripped the whole axle and sprayed it and also removed the fuel tank and sprayed that as well. Really happy with uh, how they've come out. I think uh, you'll probably agree with me. The next job will be to clean up all underneath of the, the rear section of the Mark II. Um, I need to remove the brake lines, remove the handbrake cables that are still attached, uh, clean up the area, primer it and then spray it body color. So that'll be the next video. Following on from that video will then be me rebuilding the axle with all the brand new parts that I've been ordering, fitting that and the fuel tank. So that'll be the rear end of the car, well underneath, perfect. Once again, thanks for watching. Remember to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And also if you're new around here, uh, subscribe to the channel, it really does help. Until the next one, I'll see you guys later.